Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine. Thanks to you, so tell me who is your good guy. Um, good teacher. The last uh, week, I went to my sister's wedding. Um, okay, what's the wedding of your sister? Yes, teacher. The, okay. And the in, in the week, ¿cómo se, seguimos festejando? <laughs> Going to? No. No. Seguimos festejando. Ah, se me fue. We continue. Okay. We continue, we continue on the play. <laughs> yes, teacher. It's good. Okay, get it. Get it. Well, that's good. I mean, it, that sounds that he had a lot of fun. Yes, exactly. Okay, good. So, uh, where are you? Where? Yes. In Cuernavaca? Right now you're in Cornovaca? Yes. Okay, that's good. Okay, so you take your vacations. Yes, teacher. Okay, that sounds really good. One week vacation. One week. Oh, that's good. That sounds good. You're going back to uh, to your home uh, uh, today, yeah. tomorrow, or you're going to stay today. there? At, today at in home. the afternoon. Okay, get it. Yes, sure. So that's the last day. Yes. Okay, good. That sounds good. Then how is the family? My family, uh, you no, we went to Veracruz the Wednesday. Okay, but how is your family, I mean, who are they? Como están? Ah, I'm sorry. Um, happy teacher <laughs> for my sister. Okay, that's good. That's yes. good. And, and I don't know. Um, how much people wasn't party? How much? Repeat, please, teacher. How much people was on the party, on the wedding? Be happy. How much? How much people was on the wedding? How much people was on the party? Ah, se me fue. Como es que two hundred, so so two hundred. Oh, that was a lot of people. Yes, my family one hundred, and the family yeah. the my um the novio um, one hundred. One hundred. Okay. Yes. The 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 bridge groom, right? But a bridge is no via Um I don't I don't remember novio in English. No, because uh novio? Mm -hmm. the 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 um, bridge room no bridge room uh -huh. ah con G bridge room the verdad bridge ah sí cierto y bridge es novia no ah the bridge is novia yes okay the bridge room one hundred people in your family okay. and friends. Okay, that's good. That sounds really good. 
Okay, so tell me, um, how was the weather? How was the weather? It's very sunny, teacher. Very sunny. Cuernavaca is very sunny. So it's really hot. And so, so it's este, uh, fresco. O sea, ¿Cómo sunny? dirías está fresco? O sea, it is sunny in the day and the night is um, fresh. Porque no sería cool porque cool es frío, ¿no? Ajá. Uh -huh. Más bien sería como... Podría ser fresh. ¿Qué? Yes. It's fresh. Ah, Ajá, yeah. porque fresh pues es fresco. Ajá. Aunque también podría ser cool, no cold, cool. Ah, oh, ya, 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 ya. Bueno, cool. <laughs> ok. That's good. This is really good. Yes. Okay. So, well, um, I don't know. Tell me, how was the, the, um, ¿cómo se le llama? Este, Misa? Ah, eh, aquí, bueno. How was? ¿Cómo estuvo? Ok. Ajá, eh, how was the... The... The, the mis, la, la misa... I think it's mass. I'm not sure about it. Mass. La no misa. The, bueno, the misa. <laughs> When in the... I think it's Catholic mass, but... Well, I think the word is mass. Como M A S S más. Se jugó a la misa. Más. Más. Jugó al más. Y, teacher, ¿cómo diría Hacienda? Mm. It's. Oh, ya lo habíamos visto. Farm, no. Ranch, no. Hacienda, no. Um, farm, no, porque farm sería granja. Ranch. Uh, I don't remember. Farm, ranch. Ah. Uh, I don't remember too, pero ya lo habíamos visto. Que era similar a finca, ¿no? Ajá. ¿State? No, 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 no. Finca era... Oh, my God. Bueno, the mass was at the farm. On a farm. Yes. Okay. In the farm. Okay, on, on the app. Well, that sounds good. Yes. Okay, it, it was beautiful, was um, amazing. Yes. Did you like it? No. So the picture is beautiful in the farm. <laughs> the picture, la foto? Ajá, las fotos, o sea, son bonitas en la hacienda. The picture was beautiful. It was beautiful in the farm. Okay. But but did you like it? So the final did you like it? All, all the all the um, all the party, the mass. Yes. The the party uh, went to the garden. 
in the form en el jardín de la hacienda. Ok. Ok, that's us. That's us, That's us, good. So, so, eh, how was, how was, eh, all, all the party, all the, all the mass, eh, what did you do? How much people did you meet? Eh, I don't know. Eh, did you like the, the music? Did you, did you dance? Tell me more about it. Okay. Um, the party is uh, funny. Bueno, um, was. When, was, sorry. One uh, was uh, funny. I was uh, dancing all night. And the mass is, bueno, was very, um, Ah, triste, hard, este, angry. No, 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 sorry. Ah, se me fue. I was, bueno. In the mass, I was um, very sad with my mom. <laughs> um, my family uh, was, no, my family were very very funny in the party and the food delicious mm, the party finish we say six six a.m so so <laughs> in the morning the all day the, the other Day, the Sunday. Okay. Um, okay the tornaboda. ¿Cómo se dice tornaboda, teacher? Again, sorry. Tornaboda. Tornaboda. What, uh -huh. what is that? Uh, o sea, como al día siguiente, como el recalentado, o cómo le dicen acá. Pues al día siguiente. Sería lo ideal, ¿no? En inglés, al día siguiente. The next day. The next day. Uh, we went to the continuous party in the garden. Other, the after other... party. Oh? After party. After party, yes. Uh, we eat tacos. Eight. We ate. ate tacos de asesina de Yecapistla. Uh -huh. um, the next day, uh, we, we went to Tepos. Tepostlan. Tepostlan? Oh, that sounds mm -hmm. fun. And what did you do there? Um, como I know, uh, como conocer. We went to visit, eat and drinks in the restaurant. Okay. The, uh -huh. okay. So, so did you went to visit to look around the place? Yes. Ah, okay, that sounds really fun. Yes, the postland, I like it. Did you like it? And yes. did you was uh, there? I mean, have you ever visit uh, before that that activity? Or it was the first time that you visit the puzzle land? Yes, visit the puzzle land. And it yeah. was the first time, or did you had the opportunity to visit other time? I first, first, first time, teacher. Uh, which places did you visit? Yes. Which, which, which places did you visit? Which places did you have the opportunity to, to look around on the Posset land? Do you remember? I don't no la pregunta. Which places do you have the opportunity to visit? 
¿Cuáles lugares ah. tuviste la oportunidad de visitar? Ok, ok. Eh, bueno, um, Cuernavaca, Tepoztlán, uh, um, ¿cómo se llama? Es que no recuerdo, I don't remember the name, pero because it's uh, down the Cuernavaca. Morelos. Because it's down. Ajá, está abajo. The place is down to Cuernavaca. Ajá. Huaxtepec. Ah, ok, get it. Yes. And did you went with your oh well well with your old family or did yes. you went alone? Did you went with your with, with my family? With my my family, my mom, my my father, my cousin. Your cousins. Yes. Okay, so it was more like a trip with family trip, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay, that's good. And the British, the 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 bride, the bride, the bride and the bride, bridegroom was with with us. Well, with with you. With, with uh, us. With yeah. us, teacher. Yes, the uh, four days with us. Okay, that sounds fun. Yes. I mean, it's a really different uh, activity that you did. Because I know that usually when the, um, the bride and the bridegroom uh, get <laughs> married, they usually went alone to other places to visit, to see around. And the family usually, well, finish that activity, the, the, um, the party, and yes. they back at their activities. So, I mean, that sounds really fun because you spend time with family. You had the opportunity to get to know more. Um, And, and well to to have fun right yes exactly but so by me that sounds really really fun yes yes okay well that's good that sounds really good okay well so um, are you ready to back to work Um, I mean, you are ready to back to work, to back to work uh, at your work, I mean. Yes, in, in, in uh, Monday, the next But Monday. Do you feel prepared or do you prefer to take more time to, to vacation, I mean? Yes, I prefer my vacation. I prefer more vacations. Yes, it's true. <laughs> yes, yes. True. This is normally. Exactly. Okay. That's ¿Cómo good. dice llama costumbre? Acostumbrarse. Ya um, me acostumbré. Could be. Could be. Uh, I used to. I got. I got used. To it, I got, similar. I got, I used do it. To it. Es como por decir yo, um, yo ya, um, ah, yo ya me acostumbré, podría ser. I got used do it, de I hacerlo. Ya, ya, it. ya, ya me gustó hacerlo, me acostumbré. I To eat. I got I used to, to eat. Eat vacation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that's that's good. I mean that that's really good. And and, and do you have a, a boyfriend? Was your boyfriend with you on this uh, vacation, or do you was along with your family? Uh the Wednesday. And the week, uh, weekend with my boyfriend. The first day. Yes. Okay. So he he uh, had to back to work. Yes. Exactly. 
Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Um, ok, creo que ya encontré la palabra. No me acordaba y busqué eh, la, de la palabra que estábamos buscando de la finca, de la hacienda. Ajá. Porque justo lo vimos en la lectura de la jirafa. ¿Yes? ¿Te acuerdas? Ah, sí, cierto. Es... ¿Cuál era? Yes. Giraffe, Manor, Nairobi. Manor, finca. Manor. Yes. Ajá. Manor, una finca. Manor. Yes. Manor. Okay. Yeah. Well, so now we are going to start uh, the class. Okay, some of those last classes was working with uh, the videos to ah, yes. uh, more the listening, no? the listening comprehension. Yes, exactly. So, well, now we are going to continue with the units. We are on the unit, uh, I don't know, let me check it out. I think we are in the last unit, but I remember exactly which unit we are. So maybe we are on the unit nine. Oh yes, we are on yes, the yeah. unit uh, With this and this, this too. Uh, I bet, yeah. A funny story. Yes, we did this activity too. Yes. So we are here. Is it not? Lesson D. Happy endings. Okay. Reading. Brace Tom's brainstorm. Make a list of any good things that happened recently. The, the class. Uh, tell the class. For example, I passed my final math test. My friend gave me a ticket to a concert. So in this case, we are talking about good things that happened recently. Okay. And we use past simple events, not present simple. Past simple, I pass. And this happened recently. I passed my phone and my test. My friend gave me, not give me, gave me. So write five sentences. Five? Talking okay. about good things that happened recently. Five. Okay. Yes.
Listo, teacher. Okay, so what's the first sentence? I want a sandwich in my work. <laughs> Again, sorry, please. I want a sandwich in my work. Okay, that sounds good. Yes. Mm, well, my sister got married. Uh -huh. My boyfriend gave me a cell phone. Gave. Gave me a cell phone. I in past, yes, it's correct. Mm, I bought a beautiful dress. Uh -huh. I see, bueno, I see at all family. I saw. So, okay. I saw, I saw all, all my family. Oh, all my family, yes. Okay, good. All of them are good things. Okay, so now we are going to read the next article. We have a different stories. Uh, and the idea is to answer what bad thing happened to each person and did their studies have a happy ending? Happy endings. Okay, for example, every cloud has a silver lining. I get this one nice the frase. Mm. Todas las nubes. Tuvieron color oscuro, como silver es plata, uh -huh. un plata leaning. Ay, no, esa no se dice. No. Dice, todas las nubes tuvieron un plata leaning. Todo lo claro tuvo algo malo. Ay, no. Todas las nubes tuvieron... Line es como una línea. Lining. Line. Ah, todas las nubes tuvieron una línea plateada. ¿Cómo a qué te suena? Como un dicho, ¿no? No hay mal que por mí. Ah, no, todas las, no todo es claro o no todas las. Hay un dicho algo así, ¿no? Ajá. Todas las nubes tuvieron, no. Siempre hay un frijol mal. No, nada que ver. ¿Es como, ¿No hay mal? Que por bien no por venga. No venga. Ah, no, ahí no tiene nada que ver. No A eso no se refiere. No, every cloud es como cada, cada, eh, cada, cada nube, que en este caso lo tomamos como un mal, ¿no? Tiene una, como un rayo de esperanza, ¿no? Ah, ok. Cada tormenta tiene un rayo de esperanza. O sea, no hay mal que por bien no venga. Yes. ¿Sí? Okay. Okay. Entonces dice Gemma Russo, California. Sometimes when things go wrong, they just go wrong. But occasionally something really positive comes out of a bad situation. Last month, while I was hiking in a state park, I took a photo of an amazing sunset over a lake. It was so beautiful that I decided to text it to my friend. Charlie right then and there. Anyway, when I was taking more photos of, of the lake, I sleep and drop my cell phone in the water. Mm -hmm. Disaster. I lost all my photos and I sprained my ankle. They couldn't fix my phone either. Well, apparently, Charlie secretly sent in my sunset photo to the local TV station today. They choose it for photo of the month, and I want a brand new camera. Maybe every cloud does have a silver lining after all. Mm. <clears throat> Can you help me reading Elena, Texas? Yes. Ten years ago, my scooter broke down when I was reading to school. I couldn't afford to fix it. So that semester, I had to get up at 5 a.m. <clears throat> every day to take the bus. One cool, wet morning, I was feeling really tired and grumpy. 
but while I was waiting for the bus. This guy started talking to me and he actually made uh, me laugh. It turned out that he was a student at the same college. We exchanged phone numbers and the rest is a story. Ten years later, we are married with two children, Ho and a new scooter. Scooter. Okay, a new scooter. The last two day home. A couple of weeks ago, I was happy to move his things into my apartment. He was out of work and needed a place to stay. Well, we were carrying some heavy boxes up the stairs, I heard my back. It was really bad, so I had to go to the mother again see his room. Anyway, while I was waiting to see the doctor, I saw an advertisement for a computer team in can and the hospital. I called my friend, he got the job, and I got a prescription for painkillers. At least, uh, his school had a silver lining. Though I didn't have my apartment or myself again. Okay. So, according at each uh, story, um, what bad things happen to each person? And did their studies have a happy ending? Repeat lo último, teacher, please. Did their studies have a happy endings? A cada uno? Uh -huh. uh, Gemma o Gemma. Uh -huh. Your cell phone. Her. Uh, her cell phone. Drop in the weather. Uh -huh. Her cell phone got dropped at the water. That was a bad thing that happened. And sprain it your ankle. Uh -huh. And sprain her Ankle. That was and, a bad thing. Uh, uh -huh. That was a bad thing that happened. Yes. So yes. did she have a happy ending? Your photo. Her. Sorry. Her photo. Uh won't the uh, a brat no bueno eh, her won a brat new camera for your picture oh, for her her photo for her photo yes yes exactly okay so yes eh, she was eh, taking photos for an amazing something to a sunset of a lake over a lake when uh, she dropped her cell phone in the water and sprained her ankle but at mm -hmm. the final she won a new camera new because camera, yes. her uh, friend charlie sent her photo to um um to a competition. For a competition. Yes, to a competition at the TV station, and and she and she won the competition. Yes. Yes. Your sister, uh, her sister. Okay. No? So what happened to Elena, Texas? Mm. What is a scooter? A scooter. You didn't know what is a scooter? It's, it's mm -hmm. like a skateboard, but has a has a um. I don't know how to see it. What's the name of the face? But it's a. Um, 
like a stick. How well, what well, maybe like a stick that you can you can take the the scooter and you can move. Yes, but like a stick. Yes, uh, the, the stick help you to to drive the scooter. I'm not the teacher. <laughs> okay. It's like a skateboard. This is like a skateboard, normal skateboard. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the wheels. It has a, like a stick. Ah, I don't know yeah. the name of this, but you can use the stick to drive. This is the scooter. Yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, ¿Puede bajar un poco la lectura? Es que I don't remember. Bueno. Um, her scooter broke. Uh -huh, her scooter got rock. Mm -hmm. But got broken. Uh -huh. mm. uh, bueno, es que es como, a ver. Her scooter broke. Her... Es que cómo puedo decir, a ver. Her take the bus in the morning. Ella tomó el autobús en la mañana. And now the o conoció, ajá, conoció the guy. Conoció. En inglés, conoció. Uh, no, 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 no. Según. Sí. Es now, pero ahí yo lo sé, yo no lo conocí. Ok, no, now no es porque es de conocimiento. Here, meet the guy. She, exacto. She bueno, met the guy. Met the guy and start talking. Start. Or talk. uh -huh. And actually, they married. Bueno, no dice si se casaron. Así abajo. Uh -huh. Actually. Okay. Actually, no puede ser porque y en realidad. Quiero decir actualmente, right? I'm sorry. Y actually no es yes. actualmente. Is really? Really? Mm, Cámbialo por currently. Currently. They currently. Uh -huh. have 10 years married with uh -huh. two children. No. Dice... O es que no dice que llevan casados 10 años, más bien 10 años después. Pero dice, ajá, estamos casados con dos hijos, ¿no? Ajá, pero, o sea, ya 10 años después, moviéndose 10 años después al futuro, ya están casados con dos hijos. Ah, más ya. No dice ajá. que están casados, que llevan casados 10 años. Oh, cierto. Ok. And the last to change how. Mm. He uh, her her back in his so his back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because he what was he doing what when he uh, hurt his back? His back. Uh -huh. What 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 he is doing? Es que a ver, dice, está muy malo. Emergencias cuando yo vi. A ver, él, eh, ok. Ya dije eso. Yo. O oh, no, más bien, his. Friends 
Eh, ok, no, again. Dices, él, no, él y se hirió su espalda. Pero uh -huh. espalda. Y la pregunta es, what was he doing when he hurt his back? What was he doing when he hurt his back? ¿Qué estaba haciendo él cuando se lastimó la espalda? He was helping a friend mop his things in your apartment or in his apartment. Okay, in this case he was carrying some heavy boxes. Boxes. He was mm -hmm. carrying heavy boxes because he was helping a friend to move at his apartment. Yes. Tiene más sentido. Yes. Él estaba cargando una casa, una caja peja, caja pesada porque le estaba ayudando a un amigo a moverse a su departamento de él, de Chinjo. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, so why his friend wants to move with Chin Ho? So what his friend wanted to move with him? The emergency room. O sea, fueron ahí. No, ¿por qué? Why his friend eso was moving. With ah, him. ah, sorry. Okay. Uh, his friends. Um, his friend having work. Didn't have work exactly. His didn't friend have. didn't have a work. He didn't was out work. of work. It's the same. He was out of work. He didn't have a work. He didn't have okay. a work. So next. When he hurt his back, what did he do? That's different. What did he do? ¿Qué hizo? Go to the emergency room. Okay. He goes to the emergency room. Okay. And what happened? Uh, he was waiting to see the doctor. He... Uh, So, he uh -huh. saw an advertisement for a computer technical. Advertisement. Advertisement. And he called your friend. El, Her. El, his. Her friend. His friend. For the job. Yes. For el trabajo, ¿no? Bueno. Ok, en this case, en resumen, entonces, Mari, he was no, on the emergency room when he saw an advertisement for a job by his friend. Ah, uh, yes. He called at his friend and his friend got the job. Got the job. Uh, his the friend job. got the job and he got a prescription for Painkillers. Esas serán pastillas, ¿no? Medicamento. Painkillers. Mm, es más como para... Como, como una pastilla para el dolor. Uh -huh. Y él consiguió... Porque... porque le dicen, no, más bien le medicaron, ¿no? Ajá, analg... le dieron un analgésico. O sea, le, le dieron un... La... Ajá, lo medicaron con analgésicos, con calmantes, para el dolor, medicamentos para el dolor. Painkillers, analgésicos, calmantes, medicamentos para el dolor. Medicamentos, uh ajá. -huh. Dice, y pues al final dice que pues ahora pues tiene que, eh, ahora que su amigo no consiguió un trabajo, él tiene su apartamento para el suelo de nuevo. Uh -huh, al final. 
Ok. ¿Dudas? ¿Preguntas? Ay, eh, creo que en esta última tenía muchas dudas. Y en las demás, pues ¿Sí? a lo mejor alguna que otra palabra, pero ya conforme a la explicación ya la fui entendiendo más a la lectura. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Any other questions? Mm, no. Ok. So now we have read the article on page 92 again. Are, are the statements true or false? So we read it two times. So I think we can do the activity. We need to choose true or false. Take your time to do the exercise, okay? Okay. Listo, teacher. Okay, well, the number one is false. Gemma believes that something good uh, occasionally comes out of a bad situation. It's not always, it's occasionally. So what's the answer by number two? Uh, Gemma won a new camera because she sent her photo at the local TV station is false. Why? Mm, it's different the Gemma. Fue. When? Okay, she didn't. She didn't send. send, send the photo. Her she the photo. didn't send the photo. Her friend was who sent the photo. Yes. Yes. Okay, number two. Number three, Elena okay. had to take the bus to a class because she didn't have the money to fix her scooter. Is it true or false? False. Okay, why? Break, uh, okay. Her break the scooter. Se rompió su scooter. Okay, e dice, ella rompió su scooter. She broke her scooter. Okay, she broke her scooter. Ajá. Pero aquí dice, ella está tomando el autobús porque ella no tiene Ajá, dinero para false. arreglar su scooter y tú al final dices bueno se rompió su scooter pero pues es, me estás diciendo casi lo mismo no tiene dinero entonces para su, para arreglar su scooter Elena had to take the bus to class because she broke the scooter no she didn't have to the money fix her scooter Okay, now she broke the scooter when she was going at the at the class. O sea, pasó justo en el momento en que ella estaba yendo camino a su clase. Yes. Yes. Because she broke the scooter while she was going at the class. So what what happened at that moment? Cuando ella rompió su scooter fue cuando estaba yendo a clase. Por eso tomó el autobús. Más no porque no, solamente se rompió el scooter. Si ese uh -huh. se rompió el scooter, pudo haber sido en cualquier momento. 
y estarías confirmando que, pues, ah, se rompió ese scooter, pues no tiene dinero para arreglar el scooter. Uh -huh. ¿Sí me explico? Yes. Okay. No, me está, no me estabas dando una razón más clara o una situación más específica de por qué ella está tomando yes. el autobús. Ok. Ok. Number four. Dice Elena, like it. The guy at the bus stop because he was funny. Dice ella, un chico en el bus porque él era divertido. Ay, It's true, it's false. It's true. Okay, it's true. So we didn't change nothing. Number five. She knew her herself when she was trying to help a friend. Yes, it's true. Okay, and number six. She and her friend moved to a new place when he got the job at the hospital. Yes, it's true. It's true. Okay. So... We have here false, that. False, true, true. Answers. False, false, true, 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 and true. Okay. The number true, false, because she didn't send the, the, the image, the photo. No, mm -hmm. the person that sent the image it was her friend. Her friend sent the photo. The number Did three you, is pero true. La, Ajá. la number three is verdadera. Vale. Porque dice que rompió su scooter. Pero no, dice, porque no tenía. Yo estaba, pero... Um, ok, dice, diez, hace 10 años mi scooter se rompió, dejó de funcionar. Cuando yo estaba yendo a la escuela, yo no podía permitirme el arreglarla. Ese semestre. Entonces yo me tenía que levantar a las 5 m todos los días a tomar el autobús. Eh, one called en, en una en una eh, en una mañana fría y húmeda estaba sintiéndome realmente cansada y enojada. Pero mientras yo estaba esperando el autobús este chico empezó a hablar conmigo y él eh, en realidad me hizo reír entonces si te das cuenta en la historia dice que ella sí no podía permitirse arreglar su scooter no tenía el dinero ¿Sí? Yes. sí por eso es es verdadero sin embargo en la anterior yo te corregí porque lo vuelvo a repetir Tú, tú seleccionaste false. Entonces, mm -hmm. al seleccionar false, me tenías que dar una razón. Yes. Yes. Ok. okay. En la número cuatro, pues, es, está bien, ¿no? Yes. Que sí está bien, porque, pues, ella, ella dice que la hizo reír. La historia dice, a mí me hizo reír. Le pedí su número. Entonces, he was funny. Él era divertido. La número cinco está bien. Y la número seis está bien. Yes. Sin dudas. ¿Preguntas? Mm, no, teacher. Ok. Hagamos el siguiente ejercicio. Entonces, si yo no hay. Me da un segundito, teacher. Voy, voy y vengo rapidísimo. Yes. Lisa, teacher. Okay, so now we are going to read this article. The first step is you are going to read the article by yourself and you are going to select, to highlight, to mark, to put a line mm -hmm. of the words that you don't understand. Yes? Okay. All the vocabulary okay. that you don't understand. When you finish reading, we are going to check the vocabulary 
yes. and now when you uh, when you check the vocabulary new vocabulary vocabulary that you don't understand we are going to answer questions and activities that we have of this reading okay okay okay
Please, the teacher. Okay, so, well, uh, what's the first word that you don't understand on the reading? I don't remember. Came up. What is? Came up. Okay. Um, it's just the, the, the same that come up. Came, come. No? No. Um, for example, yeah, yeah. if someone come up to me and see the injury reading my weekly column, it's like... Como, Cuando alguien viene hacia mí? Ajá, es más como acercarse. Porque pues, okay. come, pues sabemos que come así solito es como venir. Yes? Uh, come on. En este caso, come up sería como acercarse, que se acerca a mí. Yes. Okay. Que viene hacia mí. Como que me aborda, por decirlo también. Sí creo que se utiliza como, como me vino a abordar. Yes. yes. Pero en el sentido de que viene hacia mí. Viene a hablarme. Yes. Absurgia, parece. Ok. Ok. The What next. Uh, upset. I was really um, upset because it had my spear. Okay, upset es trastornado. Pero pues aquí hay que verificar si es de ira, de disgusto, yes. o de como tipo de tristes. Yes, upset. Más bien, está realmente triste porque, sí, ¿no? Ajá. Uh -huh. I was really upset because it had my spear. Esa de my spear, o sea, yo lo upset sería como triste. Ok. Y spear, spirit, spirit, más bien. Uh, en el de Andrea. Yes, the word is upset. When I was shopping more, I was really upset because he had to spar house. Spar house key and my address in it. Ok, um, ok, sport, sport puede ser como sobra, de sobra, y yes, es pero... de sobra, en este caso eh, sería como la, la llave de repuesto de la casa, la llave de repuesto, ajá. I have my spare house key and my address in it. Two. Okay. Okay. Bueno, la otra palabra. Mm. Do doorbell es el timbre. Doorbell? Ajá, uh -huh, doorbell. Yes, timbre. timbre. Porque dice doorbell ring o ring. No, I don't remember. A ver. Eso no me acuerdo dónde la vi. Mm -hmm. Así ah, abajito. I got Ajá. my doorbell wrong. Sonó el timbre. Ah, uh, the next cap. The Abby Walters. Bueno, arriba. Dice, have no money for a cap. Money para una cabina. Yo sería más bien como taxi, ¿no? Ok, again, where is the, where is that? ¿Ah? Where, where is the word? ¿Cuál, cuál es la palabra? Cap. C-A-B. Cap. C-A-P? B. Ah, cab. Yeah, this is like, eh, cabina, este, ¿Sí? Ajá, pero eh, la, cuando habla de la historia dice It was coming home from a party really late at night and I missed the last train home. I didn't have That's... enough money for a cab. Ok, get it. En este caso no es como de una cabina, sino como para el, para el taxi, para el uh -huh. colectivo. Ajá. Ok. Para el taxi, para el colectivo. 
Es como cuando estaba, pero no tenía para el colectivo, o sea, para el taxi. Yes. Yes. Y nadie quiere walk home in dark. Y no quería caminar en la oscuridad a casa. Yes. En el in the example de Jones, John Jones, donde dice, um, no entendí esa parte. She didn't want to throw them out. Ella no quería. Throw out. No fue. She pues didn't want throw to them throw out. out. Throw out. Um, pero, them out también, ¿no? Again, sorry. Porque throw es lanzar. Pero throw out sería. A ver, dice. dice ella dijo. Que yo era un buen week. The owner gave me a bag of donuts from the wedding before the tea come. Ok, get it. Vamos a ver el contexto. Dice, cuando yo estaba saliendo de la tienda la semana pasada, el dueño me dio una bolsa de donuts del día anterior para que me las llevara a casa gratis. Ahora, she said, ella me dijo, I was a good customer, que yo era un buen... Eh, Comprador. Ah, un buen cliente. Cliente. And she didn't want to throw them out. Que ella no quería que yo me... Throw out them, pero en este caso las donas, las donuts. ¿Pero qué sería? Ella no quería que... que... Tirarlas, botarlas. Ah, ya. Yeah. Por eso mejor se las regaló. Uh -huh. Ajá. Oh, ya. Yeah. Y ya dice que cuando yo llegué a casa, yo compartí con mis compañeros de cuarto. Ajá, más roommates, mis compañeros de cuarto. O los famosos roomies, que ahora ya se dice. Los roomies. My roomies. Ok. ¿Any other questions? Creo que no. Ok, vamos a traducir el texto para que nos quede más claro. Entonces dice, around town, alrededor de la ciudad, por Nelson Hunter. Dice, un, unas pocas semanas atrás, yo estaba caminando a mi carro al estacionamiento. Cuando alguien vino hacia mí y me dijo que estaba... Eh, me dijo que él disfrutó leer mi columna semanal. semanal. Pero él dijo, tú siempre escribes acerca de todo mundo. Malas experiencias. Eh, ah, no, tú siempre escribes acerca de malas, las malas experiencias de todo mundo. ¿Por okay. qué no le preguntas a la gente Eso que hable? Bien. Sobre sus buenas experiencias también. Entonces yo le pregunté a los lectores. Que eh, para, es, para escribir. Para escribirlo. Y ellos me hablaron sobre las buenas cosas que, pas, que les pasan. Que les pasaron recientemente. Y pues yo obtuve miles de réplicas. Eh, aquí están tres de ellas. La primera. When I was shopping, cuando yo estaba comprando en el super. Ya es cuando estaba comprando en el super en la plaza, en el centro comercial. La semana pasada, yo perdí mi cartera. Con todo mi dinero y mis tarjetas de crédito en ellas. Yo... Pasé mucho tiempo eh, mirando, mirando o buscando por ahí, uh -huh. o sea, por todos lados. No tuve suerte. Sin suerte, sin nada de suerte. Yo estaba realmente furiosa, triste, triste. porque yo tenía 
mi llave sí, de la sí. casa de repuesto, la llave de la casa de repuesto y mi dirección en ella también. Uh, de cualquier forma, anyway, en la tarde, eh, no, después de un día, después del día, en la tarde yo me fui a casa y mi eh, timbre sonó. Mi timbre sonó, ajá, mi timbre sonó. Yo, es, yo vi a un hombre joven y él me dio mi cartera. Aparentemente él la vio en, en, ¿En el, como, como pabellón, como, como en, el, en el centro, ¿ya es? Como, uh -huh. Es como decir, como patio, ¿ya es? Pero claro. pues como estás dentro de la plaza, uh -huh. eh, no, no puede ser patio, no puede ser, ajá, como en el piso, en el suelo, ¿yes? En el piso. Entonces él eh, me la, eh, entonces él estuvo caminando por el centro comercial. Eh, eh, él manejó eh, all the way, todo el camino a mi casa. Para dármela. Yo no la pude creer. Fue. Buena suerte. Uh -huh. O yo fui muy afortunada. Yo fui tan afortunada. La que sigue. Yo estaba. Eh, yendo a casa. No, yo estaba regresando a casa. De una fiesta. Eh, realmente tarde en la noche. Y yo perdí el último tren a casa. Yo no tenía mucho dinero para el colectivo. Y yo no quería caminar a casa eh, en la noche, en la oscuridad. Yo estaba parado afuera de la estación de tren. Y entonces yo eh, miré eh, preocupada. Yo, 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 me, yo, estaba, yo me veía preocupada. Porque una mujer venía hacia mí y me preguntó si necesitaba algo de ayuda. Ella eh, me ofreció compartir eh, el colectivo conmigo y, pa y pagar por ella. Ella dijo que ella no le gusta, no, no le gusta ir por sí sola en la noche. Eh, entonces, eh, ajá, eh, porque ella me dijo que no le gustó ir por sí sola la noche, por sí misma, por sí uh -huh. sola la noche. Entonces, eh, yo estaba muy agradecida. Agradecida, porque sabe. Es esa, esa girl. Yo estaba muy agradecida. La que sigue. After class, después de clase, eh, después de la clase de cada semana, yo... A menudo voy, o yo seguido voy, a la tienda de donas local. Uh -huh. Y, eh, pues, yo, yo, yo tomo algo de café. Eh, antes de ir a casa. Antes de ir a casa. Cuando yo estaba saliendo de la tienda la semana pasada, el dueño me dio una bolsa de donas del... Eh, del día anterior para que las llevara a casa gratis. Ella dijo que yo era un buen cliente y ella no quería tirarlas, deshacerse de ellas. Cuando yo llegué a casa, yo las compartí con todos mis compañeros o mis eh, compañeros de habitación, mis roomies. Entonces, gracias por eh, todas las cartas. Para la siguiente semana yo quiero oír acerca de alguna historia divertida que tú, que, que usted, que tengas, que tú tengas. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué cosa divertida te ha pasado recientemente? ¿Cuál ha sido la cosa divertida o más divertida que te ha pasado recientemente? Y ya. ¿Dudas? ¿Preguntas? No, teacher. Ok. Entonces, de acuerdo a lo que leímos, who is Nelson Homer? 
Nelson Horner is a um, Él es el que escribe, ¿no? Ahí, en el periódico. Entonces, ¿cómo se dicen las personas que escriben en el periódico? Writing. Escritor. Ok, podría ser. Pero, uh -huh. ¿cómo le dices a las personas que se dedican a escribir en el periódico? ¿Cómo se llaman en español? Ah, este... Pues siempre, pues, escritor, es dicho. El periodista, ¿no? El reportero. ¿Cómo? Ah, reportero. Periodista, periodista, reportero. ¿Yes? Entonces, ¿cómo dices periodista, reportero del periódico? Newspaper. Ok, newspaper es periódico, pero periodista. Newspaper man. Mm, <ríe> Hombre del periódico. Okay. ¿Puede ser? O sea, sí. Sí, puede ¿Sí, ser, no? newspaper man, pero lo común es journalist. ¿Cómo? ¿Journalist? Journalist, periodista. Oh, yeah, cierto. Uh -huh. Journalist. Puede ser newspaper man, yes, pero lo común <laughs> es journalist. Journalist. Okay, okay. so who is Nelson Hunter? The journalist, el periodista. Okay. Who found Andrea's wallet? ¿Quién encontró la cartera de Andrea? Eh... His mom. Su hombre. One man. Un hombre. One man. A man. A man. A man. man. O oh, a young man. Okay. Un joven. Un hombre joven. Un joven. Okay. Number three. How did Abby get home? Mm. Wait. A woman. Eh, con una mujer. Eh, o sea, ¿cómo Abby consiguió llegar a casa? ¿Con una mujer? ¿Tiene sentido? ¿Cómo? Que pagó, ¿Cómo? Ajá, es que quiere decir que con una mujer que pagó el cap. ¿Cómo dirías mejor? Una mujer le dio ride. She, bueno, one woman le dio ride. ¿Le dio right, teacher? No, pero no sería le dio right, ¿no? Offered the chair a cap. Ok. A one woman a offered, woman offered to, to chair, chair a cap. A cap. Una mujer le ofreció compartir el colectivo. Ok. Y pagó And she did it. ¿No? Y ella pagó. Uh -huh. Ok. What did John get? ¿Qué hizo John Get? Ah. ¿Cómo se dice? Ay, compartió. Ah, se me fue. A ver, ¿qué John Get sería? Compartir. Lo que viene a veces en Facebook. Abajo. Share. Yes. Okay. Does he share? John get share with Ron mate your or his donut. Donut free. Free. Uh -huh. <laughs> donut gratis. Free donuts, exactly. Free donuts. Yes. yes. John shared the donuts share. with his roommates. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So now. Which sentences are true or false? So read a sentence and choose the correct sentence. True or false. In the case to say false, you need to correct the false sentence. Okay. Okay. Dice. Bueno, la voy leyendo y la voy contestando o me tomo el tiempo. No, para take your time because if in the case to be false, you need to correct the sentence. Oh, yeah. Okay. Dice.
Listo, teacher. Okay, so the number one, the also have to usually read about bad things that happen to people is true. So what's the number two? Andrea was worried because if someone found her wallet, she couldn't get into her house. Was true or false? It's true. It's true? Okay, number yes. three. A young man found Andrea's wallet when she was living, living, living the mall. It's false. Uh, she, sorry. A young man walking in the mall. A young man was walking the on the mall, the mall and found Andrea's wallet when she was leaving the mall? Yes. Okay, number four. Uh, la, number two, dice lo mismo al final. Dice, eh, un hombre encontró la cartera de... de, de... Ah, no, yes, it's true. No, a young man found an Andrea's wallet when, she, when he was walking. En vez de Pero... when he was walking, right? He was walking, no living. Ajá, he was walking. Okay, get it. Yes, it's true. Number four. Abby Walters. Abby Walters had to pee for a calf. A hum when she missed her train. No, it's false. One woman okay. shared a cup with Abby. Uh -huh. Number five. Yona ate the mm. back. Ate the back of Donuts by himself. It's false. John Cher with Donuts with roommates. Uh -huh, with his roommates. His roommates. Okay, yes. Yes, it's true. So the last true, 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 true. false. Folk. Yes, a young man from Andrea's Folk. wallet when he was walking. It's false. A woman Folk. offered her a cup with her and pee for it. Okay. And number five, Folk. John shared the donuts with his roommate. Yes. Questions? No. No. Okay, we are going to continue with this activity. And then ha what happened? The idea is to finish the anecdotes with an appropriate response. For example, number one, the, the story is, I was walking to work one morning and I thought I saw my friend from middle school across the street. Okay, and the book, the book say, and so I run after him and I call his name. Anyway, he turned around and it wasn't my friend at all. And now I bet you were embarrassed. La idea es completar el anécdota, vale, con y darle una respuesta apropiada, con I bet. Ya vimos el uso de I bet, me imagino, supongo. Oh no, I bet you were embarrassed. Oh no, me imagino, supongo que estabas avergonzado. Porque pues la historia continúa y dice yo corrí, ¿no? Eh, detrás de él, le llamé por su nombre y cuando él se volteó pues me di cuenta que no era mi amigo que no era él, quien yo pensaba o oh, pudo haber sido la historia, yo estaba caminando al trabajo cuando vi a un viejo amigo de la escuela cruzando la calle entonces yo corrí detrás de él, lo, lo, le hablé eh, y and when he turned eh, turned around I, he, he, he said, oh, how much time, oh, a long time, eh, that the, I didn't see, and we, um, I don't know, we, we changed number, no, phone numbers, and we are going to see the next week by, eh, by to, by to, by to have a coffee, ¿no? para tener una, para tomar un taza de café, y la respuesta sería, oh, good, I bet you are really happy. Yes. Yes. mala experiencia decir, oh, I bet you remember. Oh, I, I, I imagine I bet you are really happy. Oh, me imagino, supongo que estás muy contento. Yes. 
no, no es necesario que sea una, eh, una anécdota mala, puede ser una, una, una anécdota buena. Entonces okay. la idea es esa. De acuerdo a la primera eh, primer parte de la anécdota, tienes que completarla y después responder utilizando I bet. Ok, okay. en la letter B, ¿no? En la letter B, con, respondes con I bet. Okay. Okay.
I release the teacher. Okay, so the number two, I was taking a taxi once and I was in a hurry. I wanted to pay with my credit card, but they didn't accept my car. So I asked money on the street. They asked for money on, in the street. Okay. Oh no, I bet you are sad. Mm. Oh, embarrassing. Well, yes, tendría más, más sentido, me imagino que estabas avergonzado que sad, ¿no? Porque pues al final dices, lo querías pagar, pero el taxi dijo, no, bueno, no tengo, no acepto no tarjeta. Aceptamos. Y tuviste Ajá. que pedir, pedir dinero. dinero en la calle. Ajá. ¿no? Exacto. Me imagino que estabas avergonzado. Sería lo Ajá. más ideal. No me Entonces, sí. oh, no, bet you are sad. No, estabas avergonzado. You, you, you were... And you, yes, were, you were embarrassed. Embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Number three. Mm -hmm. Last year, one of my friends called to wish me happy birthday. I told maybe they for, just forgot. Well, when I got home, I opened the door and... My whole family was together. Was oh, together? Ajá. Uh -huh. Estaban todos reunidos. Okay. And, ¿qué más? Ay, yo no sé, le puse, I bet you are funny. Mm, okay, en vez, okay, I open the door and all my family, um, all my family was waiting for me. Waiting. Toda mm -hmm. mi familia estaba esperando por mí. Yes, Ajá. I'm singing happy birthday. Y cantaron feliz cumpleaños. I'm singing yes. happy birthday. Oh, no. no. I bet you are funny. I, okay, en vez de you are, no, de tú estabas, tú estás divertido, mm -hmm. ¿no? Y en vez de tú estabas divertido, me imagino, eso fue divertido. ¿Cómo dices? Yo me imagino, eso fue divertido. Eso fue divertido. These are funny. No, these went funny. Went. Eso went. fue de ir? Ah, no. Mm, porque es... Podría mm. ser. Pero me, I bet it, it eh, was funny. Was fun. Ajá, de que fue. Was, cierto. Más no de ir. ¿eh? <ríe> yes. De que estuvo. Ok. Number four. My brother was driving my car, my dad's car and a in a bad storm, in a bad storm one night and. And I stop in the mall to avoid an accident. Sí, estuvo en, en la tienda y evitó un accidente. Ajá. Okay. Y ya le dice, I bet when dangerous. It was it dangerous. Was dangerous. Eso fue. Oh, it, I bet it could be dangerous. Eso pudo ser peligroso. I oh, bet right. it could be dangerous. Could be dangerous. Eso pudo ser. Oh, también podrías decir. Eso fue un milagro. ¿Cómo dirías? Oh, eso fue un milagro. Oh, this is a... Milagro. This was a miracle. Miracle. Eso fue un milagro. Un milagro. Ok. So, now we continue with the listening and speaking. Happy endings. Ok, we are going to listen... A story, uh, Pam, Pam, and Grace, Gary's and Pam stories. Uh, who lost something and who got lost? Okay. So, in theory, son dos historias, tal vez son más, pero aquí dice las historias de Gary y de Pam. Y tiene dos preguntas. 
who lost something and who got lost es muy diferente. Who lost something and who got lost. ¿Qué dice la primera pregunta? ¿Quién los cómo who, los perdió alguna Ajá. cosa? Ajá, y la segunda ¿Quién got God, ¿Quién se perdió? Ajá, entonces la primera es ¿Quién perdió algo? Y la segunda, ¿Quién se perdió? Son, son dos preguntas. De okay. acuerdo a, la, a la, las historias que estés escuchando. La segunda actividad, the second activity. The second activity is listen the stories again and ask the questions. We have the questions by the goddess story and Pam's stories. The goddess story say, where was Gotti? What was he doing? How did he met? Who? Why did he forget his briefcase? What did he do when he got to work? Did his story have a happy ending? And why or why not? Pam's story. Where was Pam going? What was her problem? How did she get help? How did the woman offer the help? And does this story have a happy ending? Why or why not? Okay. Entonces voy a reproducir el audio dos veces. El primer mm -hmm. audio es para identificar si alguien yeah. se perdió o alguien perdió algo. El uh -huh. segundo audio ya es para contestar preguntas. Primer okay. audio más general, el segundo ya es para contestar las preguntas ok, dos veces so, dame un segundo voy a compartir el audio de la computadora ¿ya ves la pantalla? yes Page 93. ¿Se escucha el audio? Yes. Okay. So we continue with activities, okay? Lesson D. Happy endings. Two. Listening and speaking. Happy endings? A and B. Listen to Gary's and Pam's stories. Gary's story. While I was having some breakfast in a coffee shop recently, about two weeks ago, I started talking to someone at the next table, and um, I found out the guy was from my old high school. So we were talking about people we both knew and remembering stuff and laughing, and when I got up to leave, we were still talking, and anyway... I forgot my briefcase. I just left it there under my chair. My computer and everything was in it. And I didn't realize until I got to work. And of course, I freaked. My name wasn't on my briefcase or anything. I mean, can you imagine? Anyway, I called the coffee shop right away, but they didn't have it. I was so mad at myself, you know? Anyway, later that day, I was listening to a local radio show, the one I usually listen to at work, and my briefcase was on the lost and found announcements. So I called, and they said it was at the police station. I was so relieved. It turns out that the guy at the coffee shop noticed it when he left, and he took it to the local police station. He had no way of calling me, so... So, yeah. He left me his number, and I called him to say thank you. And now, we meet up for breakfast sometimes. Pam's story. I was going to a friend's wedding reception last weekend. It was in a beautiful old country house, and I was really looking forward to it. So I left early, about 3.30. The party was at 5, and it was a beautiful day. Anyway, while I was driving down these little country roads, 
I was thinking about my friend, and, well, I got lost. I was in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I had directions and everything, but I just got totally lost. And I was thinking, why didn't I bring my GPS? So, by 4.30, I was getting really upset. I didn't want to be late. Anyway, I saw this little house, and I got out of the car and rang the doorbell. And this nice woman came to the door, and I said, I'm lost. Can you help me? And I told her I was looking for this place, and I gave her the name of the country house. Well, she was so nice, and she said, I'll drive you there. Just follow me. And she got into her car. So I followed her for about 10 minutes, and we arrived at this little country hotel place. And I was thinking, this doesn't look like a place for a wedding reception. Anyway, she drove off, and I went inside. Well, it turned out it was a small country hotel with the same name, but it was totally the wrong place. I finally got to the right place, about an hour late. Page 93. Lesson D. Happy Endings. 2. Listening and Speaking. Happy Endings? A and B. Listen to Gary's and Pam's stories. Gary's Story While I was having some breakfast in a coffee shop recently, about two weeks ago, I started talking to someone at the next table, and um, I found out the guy was from my old high school. So we were talking about people we both knew, and remembering stuff and laughing, and when I got up to leave... We were still talking, and anyway, I forgot my briefcase. I just left it there under my chair. My computer and everything was in it, and I didn't realize until I got to work. And of course, I freaked. My name wasn't on my briefcase or anything. I mean, can you imagine? Anyway, I called the coffee shop right away, but they didn't have it. I was so mad at myself, you know? Anyway, later that day, I was listening to a local radio show, the one I usually listen to at work, and my briefcase was on the lost and found announcements. So I called, and they said it was at the police station. I was so relieved. It turns out that the guy at the coffee shop noticed it when he left, and he took it to the local police station. He had no way of calling me, so... So, yeah, he left me his number, and I called him to say thank you. And now, we meet up for breakfast sometimes. Pam's Story I was going to a friend's wedding reception last weekend. It was in a beautiful old country house, and I was really looking forward to it. So I left early, about 3.30. The party was at five, and it was a beautiful day. Anyway, while I was driving down these little country roads, I was thinking about my friend, and, well, I got lost. I was in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I had directions and everything, but I just got totally lost. And I was thinking, why didn't I bring my GPS? So... By 4.30, I was getting really upset. I didn't want to be late. Anyway, I saw this little house, and I got out of the car and rang the doorbell. And this nice woman came to the door, and I said, I'm lost. Can you help me? And I told her I was looking for this place, and I gave her the name of the country house. Well, she was so nice, and she said, I'll drive you there. Just follow me and she got into her car. So I followed her for about 10 minutes, and we arrived at this little country hotel place. 
And I was thinking, this doesn't look like a place for a wedding reception. Anyway, she drove off and I went inside. Well, it turned out it was a small country hotel with the same name, but it was totally the wrong place. I finally got to the right place about an hour late. Okay, so who oh, lost something? It's Gary's. Gary. Gary yes. lost something. Okay, and who got lost? Spams. Spam. Okay, so the Gary story. No, Gary's story. Where was Gary and what was he doing? Mm. In coffee shop and breakfast. Okay, he was in a coffee shop and he was taking the breakfast. Okay, who did the who did he meet? New people. He I, meet I, with a new people. Yes, I, I no, esa parte no la entendí. Okay. Number three, why did he forget his briefcase? Mm. For um, because Gary was talking con other person, other people, other person. Es que esa parte digo que me, me perdí. Okay, what did he do when he got to uh, he got to work? What did he do no. when he got to work? Mm -mm -mm. Igual, no puse nada que quieres que no lo entendí esa lectura. The listening, okay. Pam study. Where, where, where was Pam going? Country house. Okay, at her country house. Okay, what was mm -hmm. her problem? Was, Pam was lost. Okay. She she got lost. She got, she lost. got lost. Okay. So how did she get help? Uh, uh one, one woman. ¿Cómo? Eh, Con una, una, una mujer. Ajá, la ayudó. Okay, entonces one woman help her. Okay. How did the woman afford to help? Um, took her in her car. Llevarla en su carro. Take. Ah, no. Take. Take. Yes, it's true, because it's past. Ah, took, took her. Took her in her car. Okay. On the woman's car, right? Yes. Okay. Does this story have happy ending? And why or why not? Yes. Uh, because... Pam, now, uh, nice woman. Pam, get to know, nice woman. Mm -hmm. Pam, get to know, get to know. a nice, nice woman. woman. Okay. Yes. Okay, we are going to listen again the goddess story to complete the questions, okay? Yes. Page 93. Lesson D. Happy Endings. 2. Listening and Speaking. Happy Endings? A and B. Listen to Gary's and Pam's stories. Gary's Story. While I was having some breakfast in a coffee shop recently, about two weeks ago, I started talking to someone at the next table. And, um... I found out the guy was from my old high school, so we were talking about people we both knew and remembering stuff and laughing, and when I got up to leave, we were still talking, and anyway, I forgot my briefcase. I just left it there under my chair. My computer and everything was in it. 
and I didn't realize until I got to work. And of course, I freaked. My name wasn't on my briefcase or anything. I mean, can you imagine? Anyway, I called the coffee shop right away, but they didn't have it. I was so mad at myself, you know? Anyway, later that day, I was listening to a local radio show, the one I usually listen to at work, and my briefcase was on the lost and found announcements. So I called, and they said it was at the police station. I was so relieved. It turns out that the guy at the coffee shop noticed it when he left, and he took it to the local police station. He had no way of calling me, so... So, yeah. He left me his number, and I called him to say thank you. And now, we meet up for breakfast sometimes. Pam's. Okay, so... Uh, where was Gary when... What was he doing? Hello. I'm sorry, teacher. Tenía mi micrófono apagado. Uh, in the coffee shop, uh, coffee shop. Sorry. Um, breakfast. Okay. While he was taking the breakfast. While he was taking the breakfast. Okay. So mm -hmm. who did he met? Mm. Gary was talking uh, with a person. He the, was the talking. Next table. Okay, he was talking. Uh -huh. Next to him. Okay, next, and the next table. Okay. So why did he forget his briefcase? Why? Why did he forget his briefcase? Según yo, <laughs> for um, uh, puso su maleta a un lado. He put his briefcase next to him. Okay. Next to him. Ajá. Uh -huh. And um, y se fue. Eh. Lo olvidó. And he go out, uh, leaves the place, and he forgot it. Okay. So, what did he do when he got to work? No, esa parte no la entendí. ¿Qué hizo cuando llegó okay. a trabajo? No. Ni idea. Okay, so does this story have happy ending? Ah, uh, no. Why not? Pues porque no tenía para poder trabajar. Okay. We have here the answers. The Gary story say that Gary was at a cafe shop and he was talking to someone to another table. Mm -hmm. He met a guy who went to his high school. Oh, he forgot his real case because he was talking about people from a high school. When he got to work, he called mm -hmm. the coffee shop right away. Mm -hmm. And yes, now this has a happy ending. Now this is Gary has a happy ending yes, because Harry, Gary got his briefcase back and made a new friend. Yes. Pam story say that uh, Pam was going to a wedding reception. Mm -hmm. She got lost because she forgot the GPS. She got help by going to a little house and asking a woman who lived there for help. The woman offered help by showing Pam the way to the wedding reception. Not this story doesn't have a happy ending because Pam was late to the wedding. Okay, so we are going to read the script. We have here the script. Mm -hmm. What happened in this story? Okay. Gary's story. 
while I was having some breakfast in a coffee shop recently, about two weeks ago, I started talking to someone at the next table. And um, I found out the guy was from my old high school. So we were talking about people we both knew and remembering stuff and laughing. And when I got up to leave, we were still talking and anyway. I forgot my briefcase. I just left it there under my chair. My computer and everything was in it. And I didn't realize until I got to work. And of course, I freaked. My name wasn't on my briefcase or anything. I mean, can you imagine? Anyway, I called the coffee shop right away, but they didn't have it. I was so mad at myself, you know? Anyway, later that day, I was listening to a local radio show, the one I usually listen to at work, and my briefcase was on the lost and found announcements. So I called and they said it was the police station. I was so relieved. Uh, and it turns out that the guy at the coffee shop noticed when it when he left, he took it to the local police station. He had no way for of calling me, so so yeah, he let me uh, his number and I called him to say thank you. And now we met up for breakfast something sometimes. Okay, dice cuando yo estaba desayunando en una cafetería. Eh, que es reciente, uh, reciente eh, en, en, recientemente, uh, hablando dos semanas atrás, yo estaba hablando con alguien en la, en la mesa de al lado y eh, yo encontré, descubrí que el chico eh, fue a mi vieja secundaria. Entonces nosotros estuvimos hablando sobre personas que conocíamos y recordando cosas y riendo. Entonces cuando yo eh, me levanté y me fui, yo estaba eh, hablando y, y todo. Yo, for, yo olvidé mi, mi maleta, mi portafolio. Yo la dejé justo debajo de mi silla. Mi computadora y todo estaba en ella. Yo no me di cuenta hasta que llegué al trabajo. Y por supuesto, yo en lo que sí. Mi nombre no estaba en, en la... Eh, no estaba en la, en la maleta. Eh, o, o, o algo. Quiero decir, puedes imaginar. Eh, de cualquier forma, yo llamé a la cafetería. Eh, de regreso, pero pues ellos no, no la tenían. Entonces yo estaba muy enojado conmigo mismo, ¿sabes? Eh, de cualquier forma, después, en la, eh, unos later today, más tarde ese día, yo estaba escuchando el radio local. Eh, uno, el, el que suelo escuchar, ese que suelo escuchar eh, al trabajo. Entonces, mi eh, maletín estaba perdido, estaba en los anuncios de cosas perdidas, cosas perdidas y encontradas. Entonces yo llamé y ellos dijeron que estaba en la estación de policía. Yo eh, no lo creía. Eh, el chico que estaba al lado eh, de la cafetería notificó que yo la dejé y él la tomó, o bueno, no, más bien la llevó a la estación de policía. Él eh, no tenía forma de localizarme, de llamarme, entonces sí, él la dejó, eh, él me dejó su número y yo le llamé para decirle gracias. Y ahora nosotros nos reunimos para desayunar a veces. This is the goddess story. Goddess story. The next palm story. Okay, I was going to a friend's wedding reception last weekend. I was in a beautiful old country house and I was really looking forward to it. So I left early about 3.30, the party was at 5 and it was a beautiful day. Anyway, while I was driving down this little 
country roads, I was thinking about my friend. And when I got lost, I was in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I had directions and everything, but I just got totally lost. And I was thinking, why didn't bring my GPS? So why for 30, I was getting really upset. I didn't want to be late. Anyway, I saw this little house and I go out of their car and rung the doorbell. And this nice woman came to the door and I said, I'm lost, can I help? Can you help me? And I told her I was looking for this place and I gave her the name of the country house. Well, she was so nice and she said, I drove you there, just follow me. And she go into her car so I followed her for about 10 minutes and he arrives at this little country hotel place. And I was thinking, this doesn't look like a place for a wedding reception. Anyway, he dropped off and I went inside. When I, it turned out, it was a small country hotel with the same name, but it was totally the wrong place. I finally got the right place about an hour late. Okay. Yo estaba yendo a la... Eh, recepción de boda de mis amigos eh, la semana pasada yo eh, estaba en un pues como en el campo en una, en una casa de campo eh, muy hermosa y antigua y yo estaba realmente eh, tratando de encontrar ¿no? el lugar entonces yo eh, me, fui, me fui temprano Alrededor de las 3.30, la, la fiesta era a las 5 y era un hermoso día. De cualquier forma, mientras yo estaba manejando hacia el... Eh, yo estaba manejando en, ese, en esa carretera de, del campo, yo estaba pensando acerca de mi amigo y bueno, me perdí. Yo estaba en medio de quién sabe dónde... Y quiero decir, yo tenía una dirección y todo, pero yo me perdí totalmente. Eh, yo estaba pensando por qué no traje mi GPS. Entonces, a las 4.30 yo estaba eh, realmente preocupada. Yo no quería llegar tarde. De cualquier forma, yo vi una pequeña casa y eh, salí del carro y Toqué, el, toqué la puerta, llamé la puerta, el timbre. Una eh, mujer amable vino a la puerta y dijo, y, y yo le dije, estoy perdida, ¿puedes ayudarme? Eh, ella me dijo, no, yo le dije a ella, yo le dije a ella que estaba buscando este lugar. Y ella me dio... No, yo le di el nombre de, de, el nombre de la dirección ¿no? o el nombre de la casa de campo. Bueno, ella estaba, ella fue muy linda, entonces ella me dijo, yo manejaré hasta allá, solo sígueme. Entonces ella entró a su carro y yo la seguí por alrededor de 10 minutos. Entonces nosotros llegamos a este pequeño eh, hotel en el campo, en este pequeño hotel en el campo, y yo estaba pensando, esto no se mira como un lugar para una boda, para una recepción de una boda. De cualquier forma, ella se fue manejando y yo eh, estuve adentro cuando yo eh, uh, turn on, it was a small country hotel. Cuando yo pues mira alrededor en este pequeño hotel con el mismo nombre, pero estaba este, el lugar era totalmente equivocado. Finalmente, yo eh, encontré el lugar correcto después de una hora, una hora tarde. Ok, ¿dudas, preguntas? No, teacher, thank you. Ok. Entonces, vamos a hacer un texto similar, ¿vale? Donde tú estés hablando sobre una anécdota, una historia. Nos hables eh, detalladamente qué pasó, dónde pasó, a dónde ibas, o qué estabas haciendo, o con quién hablabas. 
Y pues nos diga si es una historia, eh, tiene un final feliz o tiene un, no, o no lo tiene. Yes. Ok. ¿Tiene que ser muy largo, teacher, o de, o de cuántos reuniones? De preferencia que, pues, tu texto se entienda y que logres explicar lo más importante. Como aquí, no era un texto tan largo, pero pues sí explicaban eh, lo, la historia, lo importante de la historia. Ok. Ok.
Listo, teacher. Okay, can you share the writing by WhatsApp, please? Yes. Teacher, nada más una pregunta. ¿Cómo se dice burlarse? Burlarse. Maybe. No, porque joke. The joke es como, como chiste. Ajá. The mock, maybe. ¿Cómo? Mock. Mock. M O C M K. The mock. Okay, mock. Okay, thank you. Okay, se lo leo. Can you share first the writing by WhatsApp, please? Pero lo hice en mi libreta. Yes, don't worry. Take the photo of the writing. Okay. Sure okay. Sorry por mi letra, teacher. Don't worry. Listo. Okay, give me a second. I didn't get it. No, yet. Okay, get it. Okay, can you start the reading, please? Yes. My trip, I use it. In my work, asking me to go to use a course, I was very happy because I know a new place. I went to course and denied my partners and I uh, went to play tough golf. We were happy to, to meet. In this moment, uh, I received a notice in the mail uh, that um, my plane was already about to clear. Despegar is clear, teacher. No, clear es claro, pero claro de despejado, de un día despejado. Dice me generó duda. O sea, yo nada más quise decir que ella iba a despegar. Despe era. Already to fly, ¿no? Bueno. To fly. Fly, ajá. My time stopped and I didn't know what to do. No sabía qué hacer. I called my boss very sad that I had made a mistake. I booked the wrong flight. Finally, I booked a new flight for the other day or the next day, maybe. And my boss didn't say, he just mocked. Um, ok, vale. Dice, en my work, en mi trabajo, luego me preguntaron, ¿yes? Uh -huh. Más bien sería, in my work, they ask me, porque no, no decimos él, él o ella, más bien ellos. Okay. En mi trabajo, ellos me preguntaron a mí, ¿yes? Uh -huh. They asked me they to asked go me. to the USA. To fly to USA, ¿no? Uh -huh. Volar, ir, a, o sea, ir volando en avión a uh -huh. Estados Unidos. Uh -huh. Un curso. To use a, a curse to use a. Uh, to, to fly, no, 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 si sí, sería to go, a curse of USA. Ok. Un curso a Estados Unidos. 
I was very happy because uh, I know. Okay, aquí estaba, un nuevo lugar. Yo estaba muy feliz porque yo conocí, yo conozco un nuevo lugar. Yo conozco un nuevo lugar. ¿Tiene sentido? Yo conozco. Porque yo conocería un nuevo lugar. O yo conocería un nuevo lugar. ¿Cómo dice yo conocería un nuevo lugar? Is in future, ¿no? Ajá, pero lo vimos en presente continuo, right? I going, bueno, no, yo conozco. I know we. I'm getting, I'm getting now. Oh, I'm getting now. I'm getting now. I'm getting to know a new place. Because I'm getting to know a new place. Yo conocería un nuevo lugar. Mm -hmm. I'm getting to know a new place. Eh, I want to... Course. Creo que le escribí mal. Course. Ajá. Y eso es C-O-U-R-S. -E. Uh -huh. Course. Yo fui al curso. Y en la el noche. Course, es importante colocar el curso. Acuérdate que hay, como es muy, muy general, el curso, the. the course. I want to take course. The course. And the, uh, y en la noche, mis amigos y yo fuimos a jugar top golf. Ok. And in the night. And in, and in the night, my partner, my partner me, me uh -huh. went to play golf. Went to play Dog golf. golf. El, mm -hmm. el, lo que tiene después. Ah, nosotros, we were, estábamos muy felices no, de reunirnos. Bueno, me refiero a que dice to play y luego dice tap. Golf, golf. O algo así. Ajá, es que Top Golf es un tipo de juego en Estados Unidos. Ah, como ok. Golf, we went to play to Top Golf. Ok. Ajá. Uh, we were happy. Ok. Nosotros estuvimos felices de conocer, pero meet, aquí se conocer a alguien. No, quise de reunirnos, aquí. quise poner. We were happy to meet. We were happy. To meet. O de conocernos. To, 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 we were happy to were, to were meeting. To were. Estábamos felices de estar reunidos. Estar okay. reunidos. Mm -hmm. Pasado continuo. We were happy to were meeting in, this, in that moment. No este. That. Ese momento. That moment. In Pero es que ahí ya es punto y aparte quise poner así como en ese momento yo recibí. It's the same. Uh, en ese momento, no ahorita. Fue en ese momento. Yes, in that mm -hmm. moment. En ese momento. Ok. No, nice. este. Ese. Yes. That, that moment, moment. Yes. Ok. In that moment, I receive a notice. Yo recibí una noticia en el mail. mail. I receive a notice in the mail by email, no? By email. By email. En vez de inter, by. by colocamos email. la I de internet, no? Email. Oh, es cierto. Email. I receive a notice by email that my plane it wasn't already. About the plane. No estaba Fly. listo para despejar, dices, right? Ya estaba, estaba listo ajá, para despejar, que es fly mejor, ¿no? Ajá, para despegar, to fly. O sea, que en ese uh -huh. momento mi vuelo estaba listo para despegar. In that moment, my, uh, my plane was, no wasn't, was. Porque en ese momento que estabas jugando, tu vuelo ya iba a despegar. Yes, sí, le puse una Entonces, T de más. Es was, then, es was. Uh -huh. My plane was already about to fly. Yes. 
My time stop. My time stop. Aquí podrías colocarle como, yo sentí que mi tiempo se detuvo. I feel that I, my time stop. I, I feel that my time stop. Yo sentí stop. como, yo sentí que el tiempo se detuvo. I feel that time stop. And I didn't know what to do. What y no sabía qué hacer. Okay. I called my boss. Very sad that I that I made has a mistake. Made. Quítale mm -hmm. is made. I, okay. That I made a mistake. Yo hice. Más yo tuve, tuve, hice un error. Más bien, yo hice mm -hmm. un error. I made a mistake. And that's it. Uh, I bow the brown fly. Okay. Finally, finalmente, I bought a new fly the next day, como dices tú, yes, mm -hmm. no, later, the next day. And my boss, eh, didn't didn't, say. Mi, mi, mi jefe no, no dijo, pero no, no dijo qué. Quise decir nada, nothing. Okay, didn't say eh, nothing. No, my boss didn't say anything. Any. Nothing no puede ser porque ya lo tienes negativo. Didn't say anything. Okay. He just mocks, mocks me. Mocks me. Acuérdate que es he, es mocks. El verbo es mock. Mocks me. He just mocks me. Mocks me. Okay. Yes. Ay, no. <laughs> vale, vamos a terminar por el día de hoy. Y continuamos yes. el día de mañana, ¿ok? Sí, yes, teacher, mañana podríamos iniciar a las nueve o está, tienes la clase. Este... Sí tengo, porque estoy reponiendo de la, de la semana, pero ocho, ocho, nueve, nueve y media. Termina a las nueve y media. Podemos nada más ah, poner por media hora el, conversación entre el, yes. los dos grupos y ya continuamos a dormir. Ok, va que va, teacher, thank you. A las nueve. Yes. Yes. See you. See you. Bye.